In this quick tutorial, we will show you how to add different map images to the many material channels found in 3D Exchange 4. To start, we first launch 3D Exchange along with an already open prop. In this case, we will use an armor shield. We can move the prop around to have a better idea on how to modify it. Then, we proceed by bringing in a shield image and dropping it onto the diffuse channel. Now we do the same for the specular channel. This will allow us to emphasize the light effect on certain portions of the design. The specular map will mask out all reflection from the black area and will only reveal the white part with specular highlight. You can toggle the strength in order to give the illusion of two materials with different reflective properties, wood and metal. Take note that the specular map will only appear if you also have the specular value toggled to high. Sometimes users may add a specular map but forget to toggle the value strength, thus losing the effect. Later, we bring in a stone image texture to the reflection channel. This helps us create the illusion of having the shield reflect an imaginary stone wall environment. You may also adjust the strength to the level that you need. Pretty neat, huh? Remember that you may use different map reflections to simulate different environments in your scene. In the end, it is important that you toggle the pixel shader to on as this will enable the effects you just added.